Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 22nd of December. I'm James Spann. Active weather today. Maybe some severe weather issues. So a lot to talk about. Let's get in there and review things. First off, we'll start with the Skycam images around the network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's our uh, Skycam down in Chilton County in Clanton. We notice there is dense fog there. And they're pretty close to a surface boundary. Uh, we've got those high dew points and very moist air there. And uh, that boundary is going to mark the northern extent of the severe weather threat today. And again, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, there's the Gadsden Sky Cam. Now, they're in cooler air. I'm not so sure we have any severe weather problems there. Uh, it's going to be very hard to get that unstable air as far northeast as Gadsden. And downtown Birmingham will be kind of on the uh, northern periphery of this stuff today. But uh, there might be a severe storm as far north as Interstate 20. Uh, there's the uh, big picture, the water vapor satellite view. Next wave producing a lot of convection to the west. We'll be dealing with that later today. And there's that the, the position of the surface front. This is as analyzed by the guys at HPC, and they've got the thing from near Demopolis to Birmingham to Gadsden. I would suggest it might be a little farther south than that. Uh, and that thing should slowly lift north today, but it's going to be a slow process because there's a lot of rain north of the boundary, and those fronts have a really hard time pushing into a rain-cooled air mass. Uh, but again, that will pretty much be the northern extent of the severe weather threat, wherever that thing happens to be. And you can pick it out with those surface temperatures. It's a, almost a 20-degree a swing. You got 67 in Montgomery and Alexander City. You cross the boundary. You've got 48 at Cullman, 45 at Haleyville. So it is a 20-degree swing. And we'll just keep an eye on that boundary today. Uh, there's the radar at 506 and that... Uh, uh, the polygon there, that is a tornado watch for much of central and south Mississippi until 1. Uh, so far is a, the moment I'm doing this update. I've seen no tornado warnings over there, mostly flash flood warnings. And around the nation, uh, back in the colder air, a lot of winter weather issues for New Mexico and Colorado and to the east, dense fog problems over parts of uh, Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, there's the convective outlook today. Standard slight risk. Much of Alabama, uh, except for the Tennessee Valley. And again, uh, the, the northern part of that might need to be trimmed a little bit. I'd say the northern extent of the severe weather threat today will be very close to Interstate 20. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, north of there. Looks pretty cool and stable. And again, there's that box until uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Look at some of the... Uh, it, analyzed numbers early this morning. This is the instability. And, you know, the question is, can you get that really unstable air over the Gulf north and up into Alabama? It, it's very possible, certainly over the uh, southern part of the state. And there's the uh, shear, the zero to one kilometer helicity, pretty high numbers around uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi. And we do expect a decent amount of veering of the wind with altitude today, which means there could be a few isolated tornadoes. And there's the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is suggesting about two inches with the rain event today and the next rain event over the Christmas weekend. Peak at modeling, this is the 06 CGFS at noon today. And you can see uh, some energy approaching us from the west and more energy, the upper low back over the four corners. And down below that, there's the batch of rain and storms. We'll check the H triple R. This is the uh, new ruck replacement, uh, the rapid refresh model. And uh, this is surface based Cape, the instability today at uh, 21Z. This is 3 o'clock local time. And uh, if this is correct, uh, the greatest chance of severe weather at that point, like we talked about, would be south of Interstate 20. And uh, ahead of the uh, boundary you see there from Tuscaloosa down to about Chatham. And the higher capes are over places like Selma and Camden and Monroeville. And, uh, and really, it seems like it might be that U.S. 80 corridor could be kind of the sweet spot today, the better combination of shear and instability for severe weather. Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, this is helicity. And again, there's a pretty good chunk of the uh, veering of the wind there. This is the zero to one kilometer helicity. And the, uh, numbers, the, the numbers are pretty impressive, really, uh, for sustained updrafts. And there's the surface dew points at 3 o'clock. And uh, 
Again, this is suggesting dew points in the 60s, maybe as far north as Gadsden. I think that's kind of aggressive, but again, certainly uh, from Birmingham, Aniston South, there could be some severe weather. So we'll watch the radar, just kind of stay tuned to the blog, and we'll see how it plays out today. Now, tomorrow, we are in between everything. It's going to be a cooler day. Uh, in fact, uh, I think we can take out any chance of uh, showers tomorrow, and uh, highs will drop into the upper 50s. The GFS is showing 57, the NAM 58. But on Saturday, here comes our next wave, the last in the series to the west, and uh, rain breaks out during the day over uh, Texas, Louisiana. Saturday night, now this run of the GFS dampens everything out. It doesn't show a lot of rain. In fact, that's still dry here, and then uh, Christmas morning, it's got a little light rain, but not much. So let's check the uh, European Christmas day, and it's a lot wetter, and I think this is correct. This is Sunday morning at 6 o'clock when everybody's opening the presents. You might be hearing the pitter-patter of rain on the roof. Unfortunately, not the gentle sound of the snowflakes falling, but rain. And, of course, we've known that all along. And we'll roll with the European solution, forecast a good chance of rain uh, Saturday night into uh, Sunday morning. And then Monday of next week, we're dry and seasonal. Highs in the 50s, lows probably around freezing to start the day. Tuesday, the uh, GFS dampens that wave down there in the Gulf. We'll check the European. It does the same thing. So now both models in pretty good agreement, and we'll leave Tuesday dry. We'll call it partly sunny, and again, highs in the 50s. And Wednesday, pretty much the same deal. We're dry, and Thursday of next week, maybe a tad warmer, the high close to 60. So next week for now, looking very uneventful, which is good i got a vacation week scheduled, and usually when I'm gone, that's when everything breaks loose. We'll check uh, New Year's Day, 1112. Look at the trough over the east. That's going to pull down some colder air if this is right. Northeast of here, but again, just not really here. A little cooler, but not much. Into the forecast on the 6th of January. That's a cold pattern developing for the northern part of the continent. Big uh, ridge riding up toward Alaska with a downstream trough over Canada. That'll pull some really cold air. Look at the 1,056 millibar high. Wow, over the uh, Northwest Territories of Canada. But again, you know, the, the pattern just doesn't want to get it down in here. It, it can get cold like this, but it won't be that severe and won't last long until things flip. And so far, uh, no sign of that into the first week of the new year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by uh, 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.